Well, I'm in Mora Lake now after my repairs. And I'm gonna catch this little arm that's gonna shoot me over to little sag. Little saganaka. Alright, I'm on Little Saganaka. I'm not really sure where I'm going to go. I'm going to kind of stay to the, um, <clears throat> going to head to the west, of course. I'm going to kind of stay on the more north side of the shore and stop in a little bit, either for camp or lunch, and kind of figure out where I want to go next. Kind of heading toward uh, Gabi Michigami Lake. Decided to stop for a little lunch. Might just stay here. Check my repairs on the boat. Uh, wanted to spend some time on this lake, so I'm on the lake. There were a lot of campsites on the east end. I didn't love any of them. It kind of just proves by them. Now I'm getting here toward the west end. It's about uh, 95 degrees, according to my thermometer, but there's a really good breeze coming through. I like this side. I'll have a westward view. So, uh, while I get back in and paddle, uh, it's not like I'm on a a mercy mission. Mercy, mercy, mercy. invigorating. Slipper rocks. I was just kind of sitting here, kind of thinking, staring out at that view. Man, I like this sight. I like it because the sun's kind of behind me. I keep finding some little shade spots. And it is that thing like backpacking, you know, you get in a canoe or you're backpacking and maybe you have a really great sight one night. And you say, man, I'm going to walk 15 miles today and I know the sight's going to be just brilliant. And then you get there and it may not be brilliant, passable. And I was thinking about the little Saginaw Lake here, Saginaka. Saginaga? Little Saginaga. I got I to gotta check all these names. And, you know, I knew I wanted to get to sort of the West End. And the portages I want to take are just, just down that way tomorrow. But I need to stop and do a little research, which I haven't done yet. But, you know, you end up where you end up. And, man, just stop and have lunch. Do a little planning. Take a swim. Kind of wash my clothes. Well, I didn't kind of. I did. Yes, sir. I was here picking the uh, summer sausage out of my teeth. I, uh, I remembered that I... I'm due to give a shout out, and I was up at my local REI, the REI in Roseville, Minnesota, and I was picking up a few items, some peanut butter packs and whatnot. I got some new bug spray. Let's see, I got a new water filter or something. Anyway, I went in there for some bits and bobs, and a couple of the checkout guys, you know, they they always remember me. They're, they're pretty low-key about it, going, hey man, how's it going? It's good to see you. You going, shooting any videos? So here it goes, a little shout out to all my friends, the camping folks there at REI in Roseville, Minnesota. It's one of the smaller stores, but it's my favorite store and it's pretty close to my house. So I'm shouting out to you, but uh, because it's the boundary waters and one of the rules is keep your voice low. I'm going to do a whisper out. Hey, everybody there at REI Roseville, you're the people, you're the ones, you're the ones in the green vest. You're the ones that camp and bike and hike and ski and do all of that stuff. And you're always thinking about doing it and you work there to make a little money to go do it. So here's your shout out. 
in the guise of a whisper out, kind of a horse croaky out. It's the old Sunny Doniker. Let's take a peek in. Pretty recent. Uh, there's a lot of exposed rock back here from the fire back in the day, but it's growing back. Well, seems like I got somebody watching me. Won't you fly? Oh, eagle fly. You better run, little cottontail, run. I hope you both live long enough to see the setting sun. Ain't got no jungle Old black bear got no cave And that poor That is one of the most alien things I've ever seen. I know that's some kind of, uh, what do they call it, the pupa? Um, some sort of, not a larvae, exoskeleton, but something lives in that and then comes out of that. I hope it's something beautiful. Because the thing it's in is quite horrifying. It's like it comes right out the back. This is the life right here. I even got my pants off. No wonder quilt or top quilt in here. Just straight up hammock catch that breeze. And uh, put my tarp up nice and high and wide. And I brought my Kindle along. My daughter just gave this to me for my 65th birthday. She gotten herself one and she's all kindled up. And uh, it's actually really nice. Battery lasts forever. It's not heavy. Uh, it's got big font so I can see it. And I am reading one of the um, Spencer books, you know, the Sp series Spencer, the detective, Robert B. Parker. Really had a nice paddle today. I enjoyed it. Some interesting portaging. Feel good that I fixed that yoke again. I think it's going to hold. We'll see. That you can just see how dry it is. It's just cracked. Looks like those pictures of a, uh, you know, where there was a lake and then it dries up. Grilled cheese, leftover hash browns, green peppers, onion, and in here I got to heat it up. But I guess so. Split pea soup. I had this menu last year too. I, I stick with the winner. That's what I do. Winner, winner. Split pea, grilled cheese, hash brown dinner. Sensational. Got a nice brown seed bread maggot bob. Fantastic. Hello, my name is Shug. It's 4.47 in the morning, and it's pancake time.
Oh, still working on the pancakes. Medagliadoro instant espresso. I can see myself in it. Hello. Won't you fly? Oh, eagle fly. You better run, little cottontail, run. I hope you both live long enough to see the setting sun. Fly, Mr. Eagle, fly. You better run, Mr. Cottontail, run. Right, time for a reroute. That's odd. The portage is blocked off with this Blair Witch looking fence, but I guess that means a no go. Very interesting. Ah, a particularly blue perfect and pretty portage. That's the little channel, the little spillage, the little canal that runs from Little Saganaga to Rattle Lake. Gabba Michi Gummy. thinking of going on to Gillis Lake. I go through Peter and then I go through uh, the French Lake. Je m'appelle Sean, je suis about the area. It's a long lake. I've been uh, spacing out paddling along looking at these clouds come in and just thankful that that sun is not beating down on me. It was like 96 degrees a little while ago. Now it's down to 86. But this breeze coming from my back, it just feels great, man. It's actually kind of a cooler breeze. Does it bode well for my future? I don't know. Well, I would say something looms. That's right over my head. Kind of snuck up on me, the big dark cloud. Yes, I'm leaning back in my canoe. I really got nothing to do. I'm paddling, I'm skedaddling, I'm getting away from the world, from every man and woman, boy and girl, just me and the fish and the loons, and the rocks and the gold doubloons. Okay, I'll stretch in there. With the wind in my right ear, I do miss my wife, my dear, but I know she's okay while I'm paddling on heat lake, for goodness sake. I guess we had a moose through here. That doesn't look fresh, fresh, but it looks pretty fresh. 
because I know my fresh poop and I know my stale poop. Oh yeah, that's made me smile just walking through here. Did I mention that this portage is a, uh, or portage, a portage portage. Well anyway, 160 rods. I think this reminded me of Spear Hiking Trail. They're long enough to be long, short enough to not be too long. Does that make sense? These are the yellow flowers I was talking about. I like seeing these too. I'm just calling them buttercups for now. Maybe they're the angels. The angels paintbrush. A lot of ups and downs on this one. Oh, here we come down to the funky blanks. I better turn off and focus. Oh, no, nah, man. Nah, it's 100 degrees right out in the sun. Nah, man. It doesn't feel 100 degrees. That's just the sun beating on that thermal drop. I'm at my big, dry, dusty camp, and when I got here, right now the sun's behind that cloud up there, but it's just beating down right here. And there's a little shady nook over here and here. I could almost hang my hammock in there if it wasn't so windy. Keeps coming and going, it might anyway. But I've got a little lunch area going right there in the shade. There's several tent pads and things back there, and another place to hang the hammock way back. But I like to be in view of the water. But I'm on Gillis Lake. Not too bad there's a fire ban, because there's some nice wood right there. <sighs> but look at this thing, man. It is dusty. This seems like a really old-timey site, because it looks like there used to be a time when they had the fire grate built into the rock. Never see that much anymore. Man, I swear I hear a float plane cranking up or something. Down yeah, somewhere back that way. Oh, well, hey, there it is. Oh, I wonder if somebody got hurt. I got a canoe with them. Well, good luck. Hope you all right. Oh man, he's back. Well, there must have been trouble there. Either they come back for the gear or another person. I don't know. Well, they were down there about 20, 30 minutes. Tail comes up, getting up on those pontoons, trying to break that water tension so it can lift off. Not long now with canoe drag. Well, I don't know what's going on now. I've been hanging out a little bit, went and dunked myself, and now another float plane is back and there's a chopper circling around, but there's been a lot of canoers heading down that little bay. He is landing again. It's got me flummoxed. It must be a medical emergency so much for the uh, solitude today but I hope whatever is going on I hope hope it turns out all right I hope they're okay well, it's 90 degrees in the shade it feels like one of those summer days when me and Hickory used to just sit in the woods man we'd done all our chores and it was just so hot that the woods were ticking and a butterfly would fly by just going and we'd just sit in the woods because we didn't want to go home and get put to work <laughs> That's what today seems like. I kind of like it. 
The earth smells good, it smells dry, but all the all the smells are real strong. There's the lake. And here I am back here. It was actually a shady spot a while ago. I might be repitching that tarp, but I guess got it spread out for breeze right now. Uh, the chopper's bringing some uh, supplies for a basket. Well, the drama continues. I don't know if gear is going to go in that or a person. So here's Gillis Lake. I'm at that campsite right there. And the plane is landing and taking off here so I gotta assume it's that site coming in from Fern Lake and I was gonna come that way well they dropped it off got their tether dangling behind them It's quesadilla night. Cheese, onions, dehydrated pico de gallo sauce that I make. There's one right there. Boom. Gotta stay at it. No yetter. Got a little... <laughs> well, man, I did get a little end cut on it, didn't I? Mmm. Perfect meal out in the woods. That sun... It's finally gone. I cooked over there. Good golly, it looks like a Boy Scout troop is over there. Do, do I have hat head? Do I? Dessert time. And tonight, it is the Tiny McVitie's Mint Club Bar. This was sent to me, part of the package sent to me by Alex. I have whittled through. These are delicious. I ate an orange one the other night. This is the same thing, just mint. Four thirty in the morning. Didn't rain. Uh, I don't really know what it's going to do because it's just starting to get light out. Made an executive decision after that uh, cup of Medagliadoro. I have decided to shift my camp and to stay here today. I've been moving every day and portaging and thought a day off would be nice, especially if I could get the hammock down here and not way back in the woods up there. Well, just having a zero day would be good because I'm kind of a zero myself. My new relocation. And I've got it all set up so uh, I practiced it so if I need to pitch that corner down really quick, if the wind's blowing this way or people are over here, if I share this site or whatever, I can block it off and have all that view out on the other side. And if it rains, it should dump on out. Oh, nasty. This side I'm hoping just to leave up. Got my nice working rock right there. And uh, yeah, I like it. Plus getting a little breeze.
about 7 a.m. right now. Just kind of sitting here listening to the bird song and the bees buzzing and a few mosquitoes. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be a lot of rain and thunder, a quarter to half an inch. I hope we get it. And it's going to get down to where the high is like 63. So, big spread because I was uh, looking at my, my clothing that I haven't really worn yet. You know, like uh, all my orange fleece top I've been wearing in videos for at least 15 years. Because it can get cold out here. You just don't know. And then you get back and you hate to say, man, I wish I hadn't toted that. But I might need them, so... That'll be something I'll assess at the end of the trip. Good talking to you. I'll sleep. <laughs> Here's to you. For taking your time, giving up some chores, and putting aside things you ought to be doing to watch this video. I like the cut of your jib. <sighs> Second cup of Medaglia d'Oro, Mr. Espresso. You know, I'm able to get like one bar cell signal service on my phone here or there at this site. And I decided to go on the BWCA site and see if that would come up, and it did. <clears throat> and uh, first headline I saw on there was death on Gillis Lake. So with all the float planes and helicopters yesterday, um, Two 18-year-olds out fishing, somewhere in that, somewhere in that point, back down in there where the plane was taken off. Um, they capsized, and one of them was not wearing his uh, PFD, his personal flotation device, and he didn't resurface. And the other one was able to get to shore, and uh, he died. So. So that's that's what was happening, but that's uh, that's heartbreaking and sad. It's weird to even be that close to it. My condolences to all of them and that family, and uh, hope you find some peace. Funny, there's an ant on every one of those. They must be sweet. Mind if I sniff? Actually kind of stinky. I'm really glad I brought the uh, Superior Gear tarp. Because it was just easy to rig. And that's my paddling socks. That's, that's basically so I quit walking into that line. But all these little tie-out points are good and you can just clip them. And it makes it easy. I like that. I got this one over here. Kind of... Blocking some wind. This one is a just in case standing by in case I have to take it out here and rig it out. Oh, we got a high corner in a rock pile. And then this side, you got a long line going out there, which I can drop down if I need to, or even come and tie off on one of these trees, drop this corner down if need be. I went out with the middle one because the wind is kind of coming into my face and I'd rather have the tarp up so the wind passes through. And then over here, a little interesting rig, kind of just wrapped around that tree because I'm close to this tree with my whole hammock thing. So I just sort of pulled the tarp down, tied that down there. And then on this side, I just had this piece of line in my pocket. And I took this little tab, which is just a Grogain tab, which I've eh, not used too much. Looped through and went down here. And that's helping to cover my um, Dutch beaner in case it rains. So I got a rain break. If not, it was all sort of over there. So that's my tarp rig, and I've got quite the circus tent going on in here. Making myself a little iced tea here. Not quite ice, cool. I just put cold water in there. 
And I take a tea bag. I give it about 20 minutes to keep dousing it, and it actually turns out pretty good. I don't want it hot. I got this uh got this creature passing through. Hello. Okay. Nice to see you passing through. Well, it looks like they might be coming back in. Well, I didn't see him land, but I hear the idling sound back there, just to the right of that point. You know, where you go into this point, bam, right there and back that way. I'm fixing to have the pizza margarita, and that will go on a tortilla, the frescado is one of my favorites. Capri-style mozzarella with sun-dried tomatoes, basil, pesto, parmesan cheese, and sweet peppers. Did all that grooming and cleaning up. And screwed a big old green poop out on the rock. Dove in and swam off. The margaritas. Makes about three of them. Very exotic. Really tasty. I feel you looking at me. Oh, even got a little rock right here I can push off of and keep my rock going. On this very strange, weird day. Tonight I decided to go for the ziti pasta, which I dehydrated at home. Uh, it's made by a company called Simix, and uh, kind of a local company, I think. And they make good pasta. So I just bought that, baked it, and Meg and I ate some of it, and I just dehydrated the other half. And then I get a couple of couple of things of garlic bread over here, just eating it cold and not toasted, and it's super good. Yub! That's how dry it is here. You can just see the dust fly up whenever you move your feet. It just makes my fingers... I want to be licked and my teeth feel gritty. It's dry. And we kind of need lotion. But look at that birch. That is about as Minnesotan as it gets. I mean, a pretty good garbage sack going right here. I don't leave a thing in the woods because my buddy is Hooty the Hoot Owl and he gives a hoot and so do I, Shug of the third person. Give a hoot, woo hoo hoo, don't pollute, woo hoo hoo hoo. Mmm. Yeah, sir. I kind of like spend a lot of my day hunched over and stooped. Kind of bent over like a tree fell on me. Hmm. Like kind of a galoot. Like think about camping, everything down low. You done always bending down like working on a lawnmower. Yes, sir. Hmm. Lawnmower ain't ever up high. It's always down low. You got to got bend over so low.
Doug, why don't you act your age? What do you mean, cranky and close-minded?